Hello there, uh, this is a tutorial for the procedural button generator. So if we open the file, this is what we see. We have a sphere with a few lines of buttons on them. And if we uh, go into here and if we want to make more of them, we can go into edit mode and then choose the draw tool and surface. And if we draw on the sphere, we see that the uh, buttons appear. So this way you can add more buttons onto your model. Um, we have here all the parameters. Uh, we can set for instance the realize instance. That is used for when we want to make a mesh out of our buttons. So if we go to convert and convert to mesh and then go into edit mode, we see that everything has changed to, to be a mesh. If we go back and we change to not realize instances and we go to mesh then they disappear because they have to be realized you can set it to zero if you want to work a little bit more quick because sometimes when you draw a lot of buttons then the system can slow down a little bit when it's set to realize instances so what you need to do uh, when you set up the system you need to choose the object that you project the buttons on so now the buttons so the the line the bezier curve is projected onto the sphere so that's why i need to uh, choose the sphere if we turn this off you can see that they disappear because they don't know where they are supposed to uh, be projected on so if we choose the sphere you see that they are projected back we have the distance of the buttons between the buttons. We can uh, put a lot on there or less. We have the radius of the buttons. Yeah, be careful with that because if you go over a certain limit, then uh, the button breaks down. We have the depth of the button. We have the edge scale that you can change. So you can see the edge is getting thicker and thinner. We have the hole distance. So you can put uh, the holes a little bit more close together. We have the random rotation. So we set it to zero. They're all aligned. If we set it to be able to rotate randomly uh, with 90 degrees, you see that they rotate a little bit. We have the slit length. And we have also the ability to open them up a little bit more and we can also rotate the slits if we want to give them an, another direction here you have the uh, materials of the button the stitch and, uh, slip material now we also have a button offset we want to displace them a little and also the slit offset we want to displace the slit a little bit so this is the uh, procedural button we also have a procedural mesh which works slightly different. And we also have the uh, Bezier curves that you can draw just like before. But uh, here the node group is getting the uh, button information from a mesh. So in this folder you have a button and a stitch. In this one you have another button and another stitch. So this way you can make your own custom buttons and uh, then the node group will get all the buttons in this uh, collection so if we go to look at them we can set the instance index and then it will choose a different button if you uh, go up with that instance uh, the rest of the param parameters are almost the same so you can set the distance or the button size uh, the rotation, slit length, uh, etc. And then last but not least, we also have like a single button that we can uh, change the size of. So when I need a really big button, which is deeper with a, a different edge, so then it becomes really easy to make variations of these buttons. Make sure that you always set the um, UV names 
because that, then the material knows where to go. So if we go into uh, the rendered mode, you see that it knows that this is textile. And the same goes for these other procedural generators. Here you see the UV names. The UV name is behind it, so if you just fill it in, then in the material, uh, the node groups know where to go. As you can see here, slit UV, slit UV, these two are linked. So that is the procedural button generator, and I hope this tool is very useful for you.